Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, thank you for watching this video. In this video, we are going to see about this polymorphism, the second concept of object oriented programming. So, the polymorphism means that different behavior or different form of an object. So, like let's say this shape class. So I do have a step class. Basically, this is an interface. Okay, interface means that we only have like method or you know empty function or shop. So it's just a class that has no implementation details for any shower function. Now we have this i step. So I have prefix with i for referencing that this is an interface, but it is not necessary to prefix with i. Anyway, so I do have this set class and you can see that I do have some other class like rectangle, square and circle set. So all three are basically a set. So this I set or set class is a generic form of these three class like circle set, rectangle and square. Okay. So I want to create a function that can work on any subclass i mean any shape type of object so like it can be circle shape it can be rectangle it can be square it can be triangle and anything so basically if it's a shape then i have to get that behavior so as you can see that in every shape we do have area for that particular shape so i have to calculate this area for that particular shape so here we do have one generic function that can work on any type of shape so basically you can pass either you know rectangle or you can pass a square or you can pass circle or any object that maintain this contract that that will be a shape okay so let's say i already have a demo in this section so now uh, i do have rectangle class and uh, we need two properties to calculate the area of a rectangle so that is length and width so area will be like length multiplied by width i do have a square in that case we need only one property and in case of circle we need only one property that is radius to calculate the area right so that's why i haven't specified any parameter in this section because for rectangle we need two you know two measurements to calculate the area for a square and circle we need only one so i don't want to go into that confusion that how many argument we need actually so that's why i have you know make this as a no argument function now if i run this code i can see this saying 200 125.66 so that 200 is this rectangle okay and So now if I run this, now you can see area of rectangle is 200, right? So F5, area of rectangle is 200. And for a square that is 10, if we square this or multiply this one with this uh, same number, then that will be 100 and this is for circle set, okay? Now you can see that we are passing gate area and we are passing sometimes circle, sometimes a square and and the time this rectangle and it's work well enough right so that's how this polymorphism give us that you can use a generic type and then you can use any particular you know contract of that type so like when i'm using this circle shape or rectangle shape or the square shape basically those are shape objects so it's work both as rectangle and as a shape object and this is being done by this implement isef things okay so we need to implement a contract that this rectangle is a shape object and it has this calculation method okay so that's why we need to implement this isef so i'll give an example so 
let's say we want to calculate area for triangle so we can just insert class module we can just rename this to triangle and for calculating area of a triangle we need base and we need height Again, just to refresh and then in case select failed select all and then this now we need to implement that contract right that save contract so I can just say implements I say when I say that implement I say if I go into this object browser on then sorry this object drop down then i get this i step and then calculate area right now in case of a triangle the, the area will be 0.5 multiplied by base multiplied by height now we get this area for this triangle and if we pass this triangle to this particular changing function then we are expecting that it will work let's see and let me just add some data in this section area of square area of circle and then area of triangle And just run that okay now if we run this now you can see this area of rectangle 200 square 100 circle and area of triangle so basically this generic function works on any type of shape object and now you can see that we are instantiating this triangle class but this gate area is expecting i shape and we can easily pass this triangle as I say object due to this contract that this particular contract that this particular class this triangle class will implement this one so we can get this polymorphism v up here using this interface okay so this is like object type polymorphism parent child relationship like triangle is a shape a square root is a shape rectangle is a shape we can have similar type of behavior in case of you know transformation let's say i want to transform a text okay and i do have the text and sometimes i want to transform that text into lowercase sometimes i want to transform that text into uppercase sometimes i want to transform that text into proper case sometimes i want to transform that text as a sentence case so as you can see that we do this transformation on a text but the implementation details is different for different behavior like if we want to do the proper case then we want to i mean the implementation details will be different than lower case or upper case so that's how we can get this polymorphism behavior using shape class again so thank you for watching uh, let me know if you have any question have a good day